Let's face it, being good at what you do isn't good enough. As leading publicity expert Christy Dosh says, it doesn't matter how good you are at what you do if no one knows you do it. As you know, the people at the top of your industry aren't necessarily those who provide the best customer experience, yet they're the household names who can charge unspeakably high speaking and consulting fees. Why? Why can they walk up to the bar at a conference and all the other teenies around them whisper, Psst, hey, look, you know who that is? And why hasn't that happened to you yet? Because those guys and gals got exposure, attention, notoriety. If you want to quit being another face in the crowd, you know you have to get featured in mainstream media publications. Take Chris to yourself. Look at all these press logos. Instant credibility, instant authority. If you want to become the go-to expert that every thought leader, journalist, and podcaster quotes, you need a secret weapon. Two weapons, actually. In this video, I'm going to share with you the two words that get my author clients and their businesses featured in mega media publications. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Words This Show with Joshua Lysak. For those who want to expand their influence, establish permanent credibility, and fling open doors of opportunity, I help write, publish, and launch expert books that turn book readers into booked clients. I've ghostwritten multiple international best-selling books. I'm Ohio's first and only certified ghostwriter a TEDx speaker, and I'm the only ghostwriter on the planet to use writing analytics software to capture and authentically recreate an author voice. While you're here, check out my other videos and subscribe and tap the bell. If you've always wanted to get a book deal, check out my upcoming videos about how to land an agent and write a slush pile proof industry standard book proposal. Are you ready for the two words that'll get your business in front of tens of thousands of potential customers all at once? An article from the senior editor of LinkedIn gives you a clue. Now, how do you think they chose which experts to interview and quote? Have a look at this. Author of, author of, author of, author of, author of, author of. Interesting. When a journalist states that you are an author and gives the title of your book, she's instantly establishing you as an authority whose opinion is so valuable you're like a spokesperson for not just your industry today, but the whole future of your industry. That's incredible. So is there a pattern here? When you put the words author of behind your name, do doors into mass media publications just open? You freaking bet, my friend. Head on over to CNN and search those two magic words, author of. In just the business category alone, over 600 stories feature these words. Let's look at this article about culture. What do we have here? Chris Edmonds author of The Culture Engine. If you read this entire article, you realize the entire story is about Chris and his book. So he's not just being highlighted in a footnote. He and his book and his brand are the story. Wow. Now over on CNN's favorite frenemy, Fox News, same story. Go to Fast Company, Entrepreneur, CNBC, Fox Business, then go global. The BBC, Haaretz, Business Insider South Africa. If Come author of appears behind your name, you check the ultimate credibility box for major media publications. Now, naturally, Christy Dosh is also a published author. The rewards for writing a book that gets people talking are astonishing. For example, my client Jen Scalia got featured in Forbes right when her book came out. She presented fresh ideas about online business that got readers excited. So of course the press wanted to tell more people about her. And naturally, Jen's book was a number one international bestseller. So now you know the two words, author of, that get you featured by major media publications. Of course, to get results like Jen, you actually need a book in the first place. And just as important as having a book, it must be relevant to the masses. Otherwise, the media has no reason to cover it. I'm talking about all those ego fluffer books that are just copied and pasted blog posts. They sell 10 copies and end up in your moldy basement. You don't want that. You want a book that has circulation potential, one whose topic is positioned toward the most profitable readership there is. Of course, circulation is the sixth pillar of my six pillars of influential content. These pillars are the foundation my authors and I build every manuscript upon. Check out my video, How to Find Ghostwriters to Help You Write a Bestseller, where you'll learn how to open up your idea to the widest possible commercial audience so media publications will want to feature you and your business next.